Time is an American weekly news magazine and news website published in New York City. It was founded in 1923 and originally run by Henry Luce. A European edition Time Europe, formerly known as Time Atlantic, is published in London and also covers the Middle East, Africa, and, since 2003, Latin America. An Asian edition Time Asia is based in Hong Kong. The South Pacific edition, which covers Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacific Islands, is based in Sydney. In December 2008, Time discontinued publishing a Canadian advertiser edition. Time has the world's largest circulation for a weekly news magazine. The print edition has a readership of 26 million, 20 million of whom are based in the United States. In mid-2012, its circulation was over 3 million, which had lowered to 2 million by late 2017. Richard Stengel was the managing editor from May 2006 to October 2013, when he joined the U.S. State Department. Nancy Gibbs was the managing editor from September 2013 until September 2017. She was succeeded by Edward Felsenthal, who had been Time's digital editor. Topic History Time magazine was created in 1923 by Britton Haddon and Henry Luce, making it the first weekly news magazine in the United States. The two had previously worked together as chairman and managing editor, respectively, of the Yale Daily News. They first called the proposed magazine Facts. They wanted to emphasize brevity, so that a busy man could read it in an hour. They changed the name to Time and used the slogan, Take Time It's Brief. Haddon was considered carefree and liked to tease loose. He saw time as important, but also fun, which accounted for its heavy coverage of celebrities including politicians, the entertainment industry, and pop culture, criticized as too light for serious news. It set out to tell the news through people, and for many decades, the magazine's cover depicted a single person. More recently, Time has incorporated People of the Year issues which grew in popularity over the years. Notable mentions of them were Barack Obama, Steve Jobs, etc. The first issue of Time was published on March 3, 1923, featuring Joseph G. Cannon, the retired Speaker of the House of Representatives, on its cover, a facsimile reprint of issue number one, including all of the articles and advertisements contained in the original, was included with copies of the February 28, 1938 issue as a commemoration of the magazine's 15th anniversary. The cover price was 15, equivalent to $2.15 today. On Haddon's death in 1929, Luce became the dominant man at Time and a major figure in the history of 20th century media. According to Time Inc., The Intimate History of a Publishing Enterprise 1972 to 2004 by Robert Elson, Roy Edward Larson was to play a role second only to Luce's in the development of Time Inc. In his book, The March of Time, 1935-1951, Raymond Fielding also noted that Larson was originally circulation manager and then general manager of Time, later publisher of Life, for many years president of Time Inc., and in the long history of the corporation the most influential and important figure after Luce, around the time they were raising $100,000 from wealthy Yale alumni such as Henry P. Davison, partner of J.P. Morgan & Co., publicity man Martin Egan and J.P. Morgan & Co., banker Dwight Morrow, Henry Luce, and Britton Haddon hired Larson in 1922 although Larson was a Harvard graduate and Luce and Haddon were Yale graduates. After Haddon died in 1929, Larson purchased 550 shares of Time Inc., using money he obtained from selling RKO stock which he had inherited from his father, who was the head of the Benjamin Franklin Keith Theatre chain in New England. However, after Britain Haddon's death, the largest Time, Inc. stockholder was Henry Luce, who ruled the media conglomerate in an autocratic fashion. At his right hand was Larson, Time's second largest stockholder. According to Time Inc., The Intimate History of a Publishing Enterprise 1923 to 1941. In 1929, Roy Larson was also named a Time Inc. director and vice president. J.P. Morgan retained a certain control through two directorates and a share of stocks, both over Time and Fortune. Other shareholders were Brown Brothers W. A. Harriman & Co., and the New York Trust Company Standard Oil. The Time Inc. stock owned by Luce at the time of his death was worth about $109 million, and it had been yielding him a yearly dividend of more than $2.4 million, according to Curtis Prendergast's The World of Time Inc., The Intimate History of a Changing Enterprise 1957-1983. The Larson family's time stock was worth around $80 million during the 1960s, and Roy Larson was both a Time Inc. director and the chairman of its executive committee, later serving as Time's vice chairman of the board until the middle of 1979. 
According to the September 10, 1979, issue of The New York Times, Mr. Larson was the only employee in the company's history given an exemption from its policy of mandatory retirement at age 65. After Time magazine began publishing its weekly issues in March 1923, Roy Larson was able to increase its circulation by using U.S. radio and movie theaters around the world. It often promoted both Time magazine and U.S. political and corporate interests. According to the March of Time, as early as 1924, Larson had brought time into the infant radio business with the broadcast of a 15-minute sustaining quiz show entitled Pop Question which survived until 1925. Then, in 1928, Larson undertook the weekly broadcast of a 10-minute program series of brief news summaries, drawn from current issues of Time magazine, which was originally broadcast over 33 stations throughout the United States. Larson next arranged for a 30-minute radio program, The March of Time, to be broadcast over CBS, beginning on March 6, 1931. Each week, the program presented a dramatization of the week's news for its listeners, thus Time magazine itself was brought to the attention of millions previously unaware of its existence. According to Time Inc., the intimate history of a publishing enterprise 1923-1941, leading to an increased circulation of the magazine during the 1930s. Between 1931 and 1937, Larson's The March of Time radio program was broadcast over CBS radio and between 1937 and 1945 it was broadcast over NBC radio, except for the 1939-1941 period when it was not aired. People magazine was based on Time's People page. In 1989, when Time, Inc. and Warner Communications merged, Time became part of Time Warner, along with Warner Brothers. In 1988, Jason McManus succeeded Henry Grunwald as editor-in-chief and oversaw the transition before Norman Perlstein succeeded him in 1995. In 2000, Time became part of AOL Time Warner, which reverted to the name Time Warner in 2003. In 2007, Time moved from a Monday subscription, newsstand delivery to a schedule where the magazine goes on sale Fridays, and is delivered to subscribers on Saturday. The magazine actually began in 1923 with Friday publication. During early 2007, the year's first issue was delayed for roughly a week due to editorial changes, including the layoff of 49 employees. In 2009, Time announced that they were introducing a personalized print magazine, Mine, mixing content from a range of Time Warner publications based on the reader's preferences. The new magazine met with a poor reception, with criticism that its focus was too broad to be truly personal. The magazine has an online archive with the unformatted text for every article published. The articles are indexed and were converted from scanned images using optical character recognition technology. The minor errors in the text are remnants of the conversion into digital format. Time Inc. and Apple have come to an agreement wherein U.S. subscribers to Time will be able to read the iPad versions for free, at least until the two companies sort out a viable digital subscription model. In January 2013, Time Inc. announced that it would cut nearly 500 jobs, roughly 6% of its 8,000 staff worldwide. Although Time magazine has maintained high sales, its ad pages have declined significantly over time. Also in January 2013, Time Inc. named Martha Nelson as the first female editor-in-chief of its magazine division. In September 2013, Nancy Gibbs was named as the first female managing editor of Time magazine. In November 2017, Meredith Corporation announced its acquisition of Time Inc., backed by Coke Equity Development. In March 2018, only six weeks after the closure of the sale, Meredith announced that it would explore the sale of Time and sister magazines Fortune, Money, Sports Illustrated, since they did not align with the company's lifestyle brands. In September 2018, Meredith announced that it would resell Time to Mark Benioff and his wife Lynn for $190 million, which was completed on October 31, 2018. Although Benioff is the chairman and co-CEO of Salesforce.com, time will remain separate from the company, and Benioff will not be involved in its daily operations. Topic. Circulation During the second half of 2009, the magazine had a 34.9% decline in newsstand sales. During the first half of 2010, another decline of at least one-third in Time magazine sales occurred. 
In the second half of 2010, Time magazine newsstand sales declined by about 12% to just over 79,000 copies per week. As of 2012, it has a circulation of 3.3 million, making it the 11th most circulated magazine in the United States, and the second most circulated weekly behind People. As of July 2017, its circulation is 3,028,013. On October 2017, Time cut its circulation to 2 million. Time has the world's largest circulation for a weekly news magazine. The print edition has a readership of 26 million, 20 million of whom are based in the United States. In mid-2012, its circulation was over 3 million, which had lowered to 2 million by late 2017. Topic. Style Time initially possessed a distinctive writing style, making regular use of inverted sentences. This was parodied in 1936 by Walcott Gibbs in The New Yorker. Backward ran sentences until reeled the mind. Where it all will end, knows God. Until the mid-1970s, Time had a weekly section called Listings, which contained capsule summaries and or reviews of then-current significant films, plays, musicals, television programs, and literary bestsellers similar to The New Yorker's current events section. Time is also known for its signature red border, first introduced in 1927. The border has only been changed five times since 1927. The issue released shortly after the September 11th attacks on the United States featured a black border to symbolize mourning. However, this edition was a special, extra, edition published quickly for the breaking news of the event. The next regularly scheduled issue contained the red border. Additionally, the April 28, 2008, Earth Day issue, dedicated to environmental issues, contained a green border. The next change in border was in the September 19, 2011, issue, commemorating the 10th anniversary of September 11 attacks with a metallic silver border. Another silver border was used in the December 31, 2012, issue, noting Barack Obama's selection as Person of the Year. The most recent change was the November 28, December 5, 2016 issue, featuring a silver border covering the most influential photos of all time. Former President Richard Nixon has been among the most frequently featured on the front page of Time, having appeared 55 times from the August 25, 1952 issue to the May 2, 1994 issue. In 2007, Time engineered a style overhaul of the magazine. Among other changes, the magazine reduced the red cover border to promote featured stories, enlarged column titles, reduced the number of featured stories, increased white space around articles, and accompanied opinion pieces with photographs of the writers. The changes have met both criticism and praise. Topic. Special editions Topic. Person of the Year Time's most famous feature throughout its history has been the annual Person of the Year, formerly Man of the Year. Cover story, in which Time recognizes the individual or group of individuals who have had the biggest impact on news headlines over the past 12 months. The distinction is supposed to go to the person who, for good or ill, has most affected the course of the year. It is, therefore, not necessarily an honor or a reward. In the past, such figures as Adolf Hitler and Joseph Stalin have been Man of the Year. In 2006, Person of the Year was designated as you. A move that was met with split reviews. Some thought the concept was creative, others wanted an actual person of the year. Editors Pepper and Timmer reflected that, if it had been a mistake, we're only going to make it once. In 2017, Time named the Silence Breakers, women and men who came forward with personal stories of sexual harassment, as person of the year. Topic. Time 100 In recent years, Time has assembled an annual list of the 100 most influential people of the year. Originally, they had made a list of the 100 most influential people of the 20th century. These issues usually have the front cover filled with pictures of people from the list and devote a substantial amount of space within the magazine to the 100 articles about each person on the list. In some cases, over 100 people have been included, as when two people have made the list together, sharing one spot. The magazine also compiled, All-Time 100 Best Novels, and 
All Time 100 Best Movies lists in 2005. The 100 Best TV Shows of All Time in 2007, and All Time 100 Fashion Icons in 2012. In February 2016, Time included the British and male author Evelyn Waugh on its 100 Most Read Female Writers in College Classes. List he was 97th on the list which created much media attention and concerns about the level of basic education among the magazine's staff. Time later issued a retraction. In a BBC interview with Justin Webb, Professor Valentine Cunningham of Corpus Christi College, Oxford, described the mistake as a piece of profound ignorance on the part of Time magazine. Topic. Red X covers During its history, for five nonconsecutive occasions, Time has released a special issue with a cover showing an X scrawled over the face of a man or a national symbol. The first Time magazine with a red X cover was released on May 7, 1945, showing a red X over Adolf Hitler's face. The second X cover was released more than three months later on August 20, 1945, with a black X to date, the magazine's only such use of a black X covering the flag of Japan, representing the recent surrender of Japan and which signaled the end of World War II. Fifty-eight years later, on April 21, 2003, Time released another issue with a red X over Saddam Hussein's face, two weeks after the invasion. On June 13, 2006, Time magazine printed a Red X cover issue following the death of Abu Musab al-Zarqawi in a U.S. airstrike in Iraq. The most recent Red X cover issue of Time was published on May 2, 2011, after the death of Osama bin Laden. Topic. Time for Kids Time for Kids is a division magazine of Time that is especially published for children and is mainly distributed in classrooms. TFK contains some national news, a cartoon of the week, and a variety of articles concerning popular culture. An annual issue concerning the environment is distributed near the end of the U.S. school term. The publication rarely exceeds 10 pages front and back. Topic. Time Lightbox. Time Lightbox is a photography blog created and curated by Time's photo department, that was launched in 2011. In 2011 Life picked Lightbox for its photo blog awards. Staff Editors Britton Haddon Henry Luce 1929 to 1949 TS Matthews 1949 to 1953 Roy Alexander 1960 to 1966 Topic Managing Editors Topic Notable Contributors Arvind Adiga, Time Correspondent for Three Years, winner of the 2008 Man Booker Prize for Fiction James Agee, Book and Movie Editor for Time Ann Blackman, Deputy News Chief in Washington Ian Bremmer, Current Editor-at-Large Margaret Carlson, the first female columnist for Time Robert Cantwell, Writer, Editor 1936-1941 Whitaker Chambers, writer, senior editor 1939-1948 Richard Corliss, film critic for the magazine since 1980 Brad Darick, film critic Nigel Dennis, drama critic John Gregory Dunn, reporter, later author and screenwriter Peter Economy, author and editor Alexander Elliott, art editor from 1945 to 1961, author of 18 books on art, mythology, and history, including 300 Years of American Painting, published by Time Life Books John T. Elson, religion editor who wrote famous 1966 as God Dead, cover story Dean E. Fisher, reporter and editor, 1964-81 Nancy Gibbs, essayist and editor-at-large, has written more than 100 Time cover stories Lev Grossman, wrote primarily about books and technology for the magazine 
Dina Guzda, a human rights journalist and author Jerry Bernard Hannafin, award-winning chief aerospace correspondent for four decades, as well as specialist on Latin America, and licensed pilot Wilder Hobson, reporter in 1930s and 40s Robert Hughes, Time's long-tenured art critic Pico Iyer, essayist and novelist, essayist for Time since 1986 Alvin M. Josephy, Jr., photo editor 1952-60, also a historian and Hollywood screenwriter Weldon Keyes, critic Joe Klein, author Primary Colors and a Time columnist who wrote the In the Arena column Louis Cronenberger, drama critic 1938-1961 André Laguerre, Paris Bureau Chief 1948-1956, London Bureau Chief 1951-1956, also wrote about sports for time, later longtime managing editor of Sports Illustrated Nathaniel Land, author, filmmaker, and former creative director of Time Will Lang Jr. 1936-1968, Time Life International Marshall Loeb, writer and editor from 1956 through 1980 John Moody, Vatican and Rome correspondent 1986 through 1996 Jim Murray, West Coast correspondent 1948 to 1955 Lance Morrow, backpage essayist from 1976 through 2000 Roger Rosenblatt, essayist from 1979 until 2006 Richard Schickel, film critic from 1965 through 2010 Hugh Seide, political reporter and columnist, beginning in 1957 Donald L. Barlett and James B. Steele, investigative reporters who won two National Magazine Awards while at Time Joel Stein, columnist who wrote the Joel Chapter 100 just after Time Magazine's most influential issue in 2006 Calvin Trillin, food writer, was a reporter for Time from 1960 to 1963 David Von Drell, current editor-at-large Lasantha Wickramading, journalist Robert Wright, contributing editor Fareed Zakaria, current editor-at-large Topic Snapshot, 1940 Editorial Staff in 1940, William Sir Royan lists the full-time editorial department in the play, Love's Old Sweet Song. This 1940 snapshot includes, editor, Henry R. Luce Managing Editors, Manfred Gottfried, Frank Norris, T.S. Matthews Associate Editors, Carlton J. Balliet Jr., Robert Cantwell, Laird S. Goldsboro, David W. Hulbert Jr., John Stuart Martin, Fanny Saul, Walter Stockley, Dana Tasker, Charles Wertenbaker Contributing Editors, Roy Alexander, John F. Allen, Robert W. Boyd Jr., Roger Butterfield, Whitaker Chambers, James G. Crowley, Robert Fitzgerald, Calvin Fix, Walter Grabner, John Hersey, Sidney L. James, Elliot Janeway, Pearl Kroll, Louis Cronenberger, Thomas K. Krug, John T. McManus, Sherry Mangan, Peter Matthews, Robert Neville, Emmeline Nolan, Duncan Norton Taylor, Sidney Olson, John Osborne, Content Peckham, Green Payton, Williston C. Rich Jr., Winthrop Sargent, Robert Sherrod, Lois Stover, Leon Sversky, Felice Swados, Samuel G. Wells Jr., Warren Wilhelm, and Alfred Wright Jr. Editorial Assistants, Ellen May Ack, Sheila Baker, Sonia Bigman, Elizabeth Butornan, Maria de Blasio, Hannah Durand, Jean Ford, Ford, Dorothy Gorail, Helen Gwynn, Edith Hind, Lois Halsworth, Diana Jackson, Mary V. Johnson, Alice Lent, Catherine Lowe, Carolyn Marks, Helen McCreary, Gertrude McCullough, Mary Louise Mickey, Anna North, Mary Palmer, Tabitha Petron, Elizabeth Sakartoff, Francis Stevenson, Helen Vind, Eleanor Welch, and Mary Wells. Topic see also Heroes of the Environment List of people on the cover of Time magazine The Thriving Cult of Greed and Power, 1991 article about Scientology, by Richard Behar, which received the Gerald Loeb Award as God Dead, one of Time's most famous covers Topic References Topic Bibliography Bauman, James L. 2011, Henry R. Luce and the Business of Journalism PDF, Business and Economic History Online, 9, retrieved October 8, 2018 Bauman, James L. April 28, 2004, Henry R. Luce and the Rise of the American News Media, American Masters, retrieved October 8, 2018 Brinkley, Allen 2010, The Publisher, Henry Luce and His American Century, Alfred A. Knopf, ISBN 978-0307592910 Maslin, Janet April 20, 2010, A Magazine Master Builder, Book Review, The New York Times, p. c1, retrieved April 20, 2010 Brinkley, Allen April 19, 2010, 
What Would Henry Luce Make of the Digital Age? Time, Athenaeum, Excerpt and Text Search Elson, Robert T. 1968, Time Inc., The Intimate History of a Publishing Enterprise, 1923–1941 Athenaeum, ISBN 978-0689105555, Official Corporate History Elson, Robert T. 1973, Norton Taylor, Duncan, ed., The World of Time Inc., The Intimate History, 1941–1960, 2, ISBN 978-0689105555, Official Corporate History Hurstine, Robert E. 2006, Henry R. Luce, Time, and the American Crusade in Asia, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 978-0521835770 Hurstine, Robert E. 1994, Henry R. Luce, A Political Portrait of the Man Who Created the American Century, c. Scribner's Sons, ISBN 978-0684193601 Wilner, Isaiah 2006, The Man Time Forgot, A Tale of Genius, Betrayal, and the Creation of Time Magazine, New York, HarperCollins, ISBN 978-0061747267 Topic. External links Works written on the topic Time magazine at Wikisource Media related to Time magazine at Wikimedia Commons Official website Time magazine vault, archive of magazines and covers from 1923 through present Time articles by Whitaker Chambers <laughs>